So here we have a standard power bleeder. This is a Motive Products power bleeder. Uh, I've got the adapter that fits on most of the old school master cylinders for the, the dual reservoir master cylinders. Just clamps down. Works pretty good. Works pretty good except for on a Willwood master cylinder. I've already got the lid unscrewed here, so what we've got going on is this son of a bitch is just a little bit too big, about quarter, half inch too big altogether. And that's no good when you own a pressure bleeder and you want to pressure bleed your brakes. So what I did was I bought a spare Willwood lid. I drilled and tapped to have a compression or a air compressor fitting put in. And also, you got to weld these little holes closed. You can see where the heat changed the color of the anodized finish. And it came with a gasket, which I also cut out too. And you just put it on the same way you would put on your other lid. You're going to want to tighten it down a little bit more than, than you do your standard lid. Pressurize your bleeder. And then connect your fitting. Bleed your brakes. And what I do is when I undo it, I've got a small plunger and I'll use this to extract brake fluid out of here so that I don't make a huge mess when I disconnect it. But if you look, you can see these holes. I'm sure they're just to relieve air pressure when you change pads and you push your piston into your caliper. But if you don't weld those closed, it only takes about 5 PSI to turn your master cylinder into a brake fluid fountain. Don't ask me how I know. I hope this helps somebody. Because it was about 38 bucks, something like that, for this Willwood lid with a gasket. And whatever I spent on the... I had the fitting laying around and the drill and tap was only a couple bucks. So for under 50 bucks, if you own a Willwood master cylinder, it can still be good. You can still use your pressure bleeder. Thanks for watching.